My name is Timothy Trespass. I'm a human being who has found himself targeted and being killed with more gallons and microwaves and microbiology, synthetic biology, genetic manipulation, and stress. So, I just wanted to take a moment to. Oh, God, I'm so to show you, uh, wonderful people, what it is I'm trying to do here. Uh, let's see. Can you see it from here? Maybe. You see, I got this big giant uh, fan thing here, right? I'm sitting on. There were two of them. I did one already. And uh, so I bought this freaking thing here is just already falling apart as you can see it's no longer even and I've been burnishing or grinding whatever you want to call it brushing this fucking metal thing to try to get the rust off it because um, everything that we have gets coated in this freaking freaky biofilm stuff and uh, oh God, I can't find a suitable camera angle for my angle of the camera um, and, and anyway it gets coated in this freaking biofilm and leaves all this red and black gunk stuck to everything. So I took the fan thing apart because every time we used it, it would blow more gunk everywhere. Uh, you know, it lands on us and we end up like this. So uh, I took it outside and I washed it with muriatic acid and a brush. And uh, the brush fell apart, but I got most of the yucky stuff off. And then it rusted immediately because when you take the, the stainless steel off of the steel, And personally, you know, I wouldn't really give a shit. This isn't the kind of thing I do. But this fan is so big and powerful that I knew there was some need for it. Despite Patriots trying to throw it away four or five times. You know, it's like a three hundred dollar fucking thing, right? And um, so, uh, and so, uh, I'm trying to get some of the rust and whatever gunk is left, and I'm gonna hit it with a clear spray paint real quick if I can. And then, after I. Put, you know, do that and it dries and I gotta go find the screws and put it all back together with the blade and the motor and the... Uh, and then when that's done, I can put on the fan in the window while I drag the air conditioner outside and take it apart and steam it and clean it and brush it and wash it and try to get all the crap out of the air conditioner because every time you turn on the air conditioner, it blows more crap all over you. And when I say crap, I mean tiny, uh, microscopic almost, or macroscopic things, little fibers, little spores, little insects that float in the air. I mean, stuff, that, you know, when you turn on a bright light or a spotlight or a laser beam, bright, brighter than the regular lights, and you shine it through the room, you see what I showed in one of those videos with the smart dust everywhere. And there's times where it just <laughs> seems to take over your life. Uh, and I believe that it's somehow controlled by a frequency, you know, I mean, if you're going to build a bioweapon, you got to have an on button and an off button, because it might get in your underwear, and you certainly want to turn it off then. Um, so I know there's an off switch and an on switch, uh, and either way, even if there's not, still there's a biological reproductive cycle, and this is some really crazy genetic engineering with, uh, Bacteria, um, 
transfer DNA plasmids being used, viral transfers. Uh, basically, we're talking about fusing human genome with plant and insect genome and uh, insect hormones to allow biogenesis of insects and to sustain the parasitic uh, life cycle and, and whatever. And I think there's more to it even than that, but hey, you know, we've got uh, fibers growing intelligent quorum sensing. They know when there's other ones of themselves there, where they are, how many. Quorum sensing, you know, bacterium. Basically, plant, you know, it's like a plant. It grows tendrils and, and roots. If you look at the fibers, some of them that grow from the smoke gallon stuff, it almost looks like the new roots of a plant, but they're crystal, uh, sometimes liquid crystal-like, and intelligent. Not that plants aren't intelligent, but... Um, and we've learned that uh, fungus and mold is building more than just a bunch of little fibrous tendrils. They're actually building a neural network. And um, there's some research done on that, all called the ectozine, ectozine, whatever it's called, the ectozine uh, hormone. There's a lot of research being done into that. And I was just reading something yesterday uh, about, oh God, what was it? Um, agrobacterium plasmids turning human, uh, human red blood cells, whatever they're called, immortal. The effect of agrobacterium T transfer DNA plasmid on immortality of human, uh, whatever they're called, red blood cells. Very interesting paper. I only read a few few bits. And uh, so I'm really interested in whatever all this is. Not that it's going to be able to save my ass. Uh, and this craziness that they're combining with this targeting and mind control and computers reading your thoughts and all this crazy new world order stuff is just, uh, it's a nightmare and I'm dying and Petra's dying and thousands if not millions of other people are sick and dying of this too. Nobody wants to admit it, nobody wants to help, nobody knows what to do and nobody's telling. So here we all are desperately trying to survive making that easy and making everything hard and stressful. This is almost like a forced genetic transformation of the human species. Uh, you know, you either transform or die. And you wipe out most of the species and you replace it with uh, genetically engineered beings. Hey, why bother building your own universe when you can just take this one? Um, so, we're going to see what happens if I dabbling now. Somebody must really hate God. Must really hate God's creation. Uh, because there are times when they've almost got me hating it too. And that's sad because God has built it. In fact, this is true. This world and us and built it with all kinds of amazing things based on harmony, geometry, frequency, you know, the word, the sound, the, the whatever, or something. Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, God bless you all. What we really need is like a super mega HEPA filter to suck all this crap out of the air, uh, because it just seems to keep spawning and sporing. Thanks for watching.